All right, guys, what is going on? Good morning to you all. It is June 23rd, 2017. You guessed it. You see the background. I got some news for you, and uh, it's pretty major. So uh, before I get into that, make sure you like the video, and a uh, special shout-out to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Uh, we're about to go ahead and get into this real quick. And yes, for those of you that have been asking and wondering, yes, the podcast is still on. We're going to do that tonight. Uh, probably around 7 or 8 o'clock, so uh, if you're interested and you're ready to uh, join or whatever, or you just want to get in and say what's up, make sure you uh, you show up in the comments section below. Anybody who's new, you know, whether you know, you're know you watching this video or or uh, you just jump in, <laughs> I, I, hypothetically, um, you know, if you want us, if you want to say anything, you want to say what's up, you want to get in the chat, uh, just send me your message saying, hey, look, I'm, uh, I want in, I want to talk, so, okay, so let me know and I'll let you in, okay? So uh, now that we got that out the way, let's go ahead and get into this gaming news, then I'm going to hit you right with the PlayStation news. Alright, so you guys know me, I'm not a big Destiny fan, I'm not big on it ex uh, at all, I'm not big on it at all, so um, excuse me if I sound like a noob on this, because I am. But uh, where is the XUR? Well, the location and exotic weapons have been revealed today, uh, and it's available from June 23rd, which is today, to, to, to the uh, 25th, which is Sunday. So... All right, what is the XUR selling this weekend? This is inventory. Uh, Peregrine, or Peregrine Greaves Leg Armor, Celestial Nighthawk Helmet, Hearts of the Praxic Fire Chest Armor, Monte Carlo Auto Rifle. That's what he's offering today, or until uh, Sunday. There you go. Uh, like I said, I'm not really big into the whole Destiny thing, but I know a lot of you probably are, and a lot of you like the, you know, to be informed, so there you go. Let's get into that PlayStation news, boy. All right, Hatsune Miku, Project Diva Future Tone DX announced for PlayStation 4. Now, this is probably a single-long type of game, or maybe one of those games where you press, like, square X or triangle or whatever, whenever, like, a note hits a certain line or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm not, in, I'm not into singing games. I never have been. Like, that's probably the only thing I cringed at <laughs> when I played, like, Sleeping Dogs. Like, you know, that karaoke bar? Yeah, it was fun to do because it was just funny to hear the dude cringe. Like, he's so cringe. Uh, he's so cringe worthy on the mic, you know? It was funny to do that, but I'm saying it's not really something I'm into. But I know some people are into that, so there you go. Uh, no release date or anything. just been announced, so there you go. All right. City Skylines PlayStation 4 Edition has been announced. The key features for this is build the city of your dreams, extensive uh, local traffic simulation, districts and policies, and After Dark included. There you go. It's the ultimate um, one, and it is coming to the PlayStation 4. Do you care? Do you not? I don't really know. I remember somebody legit asked me to do this a gajillion times. There you go. Pillars of Eternity, Complete Edition, release confirmed for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. This, I was actually waiting for confirmation from them to form. Alright, so the classic PC RPG is coming to the PlayStation 4 and PC. Alright, I'm sorry, and the Xbox One. Might as well call it a PC, because, you know, all the games are on it. Uh, no quotes. No quotes. But, um, we'll ship on Sundays and current gen consoles. On, okay, so it's coming out on August 29th, 2017, this year. So there you go. There you go. It's coming out. Uh, let's go ahead. Okay. Now, this right here is kind of funny. Now, you know how Battlegrounds is like a main thing these Xbox dudes keep throwing around now. Like, I had one dude yesterday, I kid you not, talking about something like, yo, look, I could play Battlegrounds. Or like, is there, uh, is there any way I could play Battleground somewhere else? I mean, like, that's stronger than this because this Xbox Scorpio or this Xbox One can do that, you know, high as hell and all that. I'm like, yeah, you just, you just sound like a hater. I'm like, you do realize that you can buy a PC that can run this game three times better, right? You do realize that, right? And before somebody comes in the comment section and says, it's impossible to build a PC, it's hard to build a PC, it's actually very, very simple. You can buy one, hell, to this day, you can buy a $200 one right now and upgrade from there. I kid you not. Me personally, I want a little high end. I got a high end type of one. I went $700 on mine. Now, before I get somebody saying, whoa, that's a lot of money, I'm not breaking my wallet. You kind of already broke your wallet this generation, especially if you're an Xbox dude. 
I want you to think about that. You spend five hundred dollars on the base place or a base uh, Xbox, which is five hundred dollars. You spend another three hundred dollars on the Slim, because I know a lot of you upgraded because you were just like so obsessed with trying to get some kind of lead over PlayStation. So you bought the One S, which was three hundred dollars. Then you're about to buy the One X, which again is five hundred dollars. You spent over a grand on this uh, this generation. So, yeah, you spent over a grand. You spent more than that, and all you have to show for that, you know, for that much money you spent is games like Battlegrounds. You haven't really got anything to really show for your uh, money. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk about this. Let's go ahead and read the quote. Got to hit you with the facts, man. Got to hit you with the facts. We're excited to announce that uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is coming to Xbox One. We're always looking for, at various platforms to potentially introduce our game, but have nothing further to announce at this time. Though the latest statement doesn't guarantee anything, what's likely is that Player Unknown's Battlegrounds will be a timed Xbox One exclusive. Let me repeat that again: a timed Xbox One exclusive, and it will come to the PlayStation Four at a later date. There you go. There you go. See, games like Battlegrounds isn't enough to make people go and spend $500 on a new system that can't even do 4K60. Yeah, it can do 4K, true 4K, but not 4K60, which it was hyped up to be. Just saying. Just saying. Not hating, just saying. Okay. PlayStation Plus, July 2017, free games on uh, PS4 predictions and rumors. Now, these are the rumored games that supposedly might happen. We might get Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which is a great game. That was probably one of the last uh, good Assassin's Creeds they made. I actually loved it. The naval combat was awesome. The freedom in general that you had off the bat was just great. I even liked the story. The story was actually pretty good, too, with that. Uh, Lego Batman 3 Beyond, uh, Beyond Gotham. Uh, I'm not into Lego games, but some people are, so there you go. I might give it a try if it's free. I'm not spending my money on that shit. Uh, God of War 3 HD Remaster. That I bought day one. So it did a lot of other people, but they give that away for free. Hey, that's going to be dope. You guys will enjoy it. Uh, I think I paid 40 bucks for mine when it was brand new. So yeah, that that would be dope if you uh, they give that away for free. Uh, Oxen Free, so that's an indie game. Eh, that seems about right for Sony and, uh, and another indie game. Uh, Axiom Verge. Okay, so if I had to predict uh, this list right here, I'm going to go ahead and remove Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Why? Because Ubisoft just loves to milk Assassin's Creed, especially with the newer one coming out. They want to get as much money as they possibly can off Assassin's Creed and sell as much as they can, even though this game is so old and it's in the bargain bin everywhere. I don't know. I highly doubt you'll get that uh, for PlayStation Plus this uh, or next month. So... Yeah, I highly doubt it. If I had to really guess, I would go with uh, God of War 3, because that seems about right. Why? Because it's a Sony exclusive. And number one, it's old. So, um, you know, there you go. I actually believe that. God of War 3 will be there. And I would have to go with uh, Oxen Free as the uh, second, uh, like, the game to launch with it. So, Oxen Free, God of War, uh, God of War 3, and, um, yeah, that's it. That's it. They might, they might, they could give away um, Axiom Verge too and play. Oh, that's going to the Vita. But I'm saying, you know, out of those, I would say those two out of the list. So that's it. There you go. Uh, do you agree with the list? <laughs> it's, up, it's up to you. Don't worry. All links are in the description below, so you can check those out. All right. So you know, you know me. I put those, uh, put those links in the description. Now, obviously, the biggest topic of the day. Spider-Man PS4 could push to, uh, could push the PlayStation 4 sales to 100 million, says Sony. Let me go ahead and stop it right there. I, I actually believe that. I actually believe that it will boost the sales even more. Why? You guys saw the gameplay at E3. It was absolutely mind-blowing. Everything that he did. The the way he turns everything. Like, the way he uh, reacts to the city. Ex you know, to, like, the destruction, the explosions, him contorting, and the web swinging. All that. That is a Spider-Man game that everybody has been wanting for. And you know what's funny? If you enter E3 2017 this year, this is the main thing that comes up. Or better yet, just enter um, PlayStation E3. Boom. This comes up immediately. You know what I'm saying? And there's so many. Like, I kid you not. There are so many reactions to this game online. There's so many reactions. There's like a big compilation of people reacting to this game saying it. It's absolutely the game they've uh, always dreamed for. 
So, I'm going to go ahead and read these quotes, and then I'm going to go ahead and let you guys uh, go on with your day. All right, so PS4 sales could go through the roof. Yes, they could. Well, like I said, okay, hold on. All right. Well, like I tell my sales guys, the first 60 million is the easy 60 million. To get to 100 million is about how do you how do we grow the pie? Said Sean Layton. Uh, the, sh- the executive went on to say that Sony's plans going forward is to, uh, bro- is to broaden its consumer appeal, and in Europe, the format holder plans to achieve this by producing social type games. However, uh, in the U.S., Layton uh, said that games like Spider-Man will be the key, a key component in growing PS4's user base. Well, yes, I do. Okay, okay, okay. I do believe that because. Before I get somebody saying I'm I'm getting a little ahead of myself, not really. Think about it. They have more than just Spider Man. They have Days Gone. They have Detroit. They have uh, those two remakes that are exclusive. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, those were exclusive, and they have a lot more. It's a lot of games. Good God, I have to remember. It. There's so many games they got going into 2017. Uh, the Last of Us Two again. I mean, it's just too much stuff. The Last of Us 2 is definitely going to be a crazy uh, sell. That thing's going to sell out ridiculously. All right, so here's another quote. Uh, sh- but for us in the U.S., I think the biggest chance uh, we have to broaden the, uh, that pie is with a game like Spider-Man. He said, Spider-Man is probably the best-known comic book character in the world. Very true. And we can take that title and the way that Insomniac has hit it out of the park in realist or realizing oh in, in realizing that character in a way that finally uh, Spider-Man plays like you want him to play. I think we can bring people into gaming who may not be there yet through the power of what kind of character or power oh, of the power of that kind of character. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, sh- there you go. Um, now they did have, I might as well read this whole thing, uh, Spider-Man is one of many first party exclusives due out for the PlayStation 4 in 2018, among that would includes God of War, Detroit, Days Gone, the game takes place in an open world New York City, which is why I didn't complain about it being 30 frames per second, it's a big open world city, and it's bigger than, uh, it's, I think they said it was three times bigger than Sunset Overdrive City, so keep that in mind, it's a big city. Uh, where our web-swinging uh, superhero finds himself battling against a nefarious group known as the Inner Demons, helped or helmed by the Igni- well, what's that say? Oh, Ignomatic, uh, or Igne- ah, excuse me, I can't even, I can't even talk. Ignomatic <laughs> Mr. Negative. That's his name? Mr. Negative? Hmm. Okay. I wonder who that guy was at the in the damn demo. Hopefully, that, was that the guy? Uh, hopefully, I don't know. But Mr., uh, Mr. Negative, so there you go, we learned something about it. We, are, we obviously know who the demons were, we saw them with their mask on, they had like these little um, samurai demon looking mask on, and we saw the dude with the sword. Now, we're not, we're not sure if that's actually the actual um, antagonist of the game, but um, he could very well be like a, a second boss. But Mr. Negative is the um, is your uh, main guy. So, okay, so no no Mysterio. Maybe they'll hint at a Mysterio. Maybe they'll hint at, like, a Rhino, Mysterio, uh, Dr. Octopus, you name it. Maybe a Carnage or Venom. Hell, you never know. Because keep in mind, this is this game is part one of three. There's three games. So expect more to be uh, shown. Okay. So expect a Miles Morales uh, appearance at some point and a story that focuses on a more experienced Peter Parker who is now in his early 20s attempting to imbalance college life uh, with that of a superhero. Okay, so they changed the story. Because I remember correctly when I read, they said that he was a more older Peter Parker and he had uh, a kid and whatnot. So I guess they just changed it and, and went with this route. Okay, so they're going completely um, with, uh, you know, Peter Parker, like, as a normal Peter Parker that we know him as. So he's 20 years old, or he's in his early 20s, and he's attempting to balance, you know, college, his life, and that of a superhero. Okay, there you go. And we saw Miles Morales, so could he very well die in this one? I highly doubt it. I think he'll die probably like in the second, maybe third, but who knows? We shall see. But hopefully, I wonder what they're going to do with Miles Morales. Well, could he just be like someone that you you run into and he finds out your identity? 
Who knows? Good question, huh? <laughs> Good question. Could he uh, very well be uh, your uh, your partner in crime? You just train him to become Spider-Man if something happened to you, huh? Good question again. I'll see you guys discuss that in the comments. But uh, that's it. That's all the news I got for you. You guys be good. Appreciate everybody again who came by and subscribed to the channel. I'll see you guys later. You guys be good. And I'll see you guys uh, later on tonight for the podcast. Remember, if you want in, you can message below or you can wait till the actual podcast. And then, you know, you can message us all. That's when everybody will see the messages. And uh, you can let me know if you want in. Okay? So, again, I'll see you guys later. You guys be good. And we are almost at 300 subscribers. Holy shit. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, we can get there even faster. You guys be good. Deuces.